Suncor has increased by more than 20% over the past year. Could there be more gains ahead? Suncor, listed on the TSX under the ticker symbol SU, has seen a 22% increase over the last year. Investors who may have missed this rally are now asking if Suncor's stock is still undervalued and whether it's a good buy for a self-directed tax-free savings account, TFSA, or a registered retirement savings plan, RRSP, particularly for those focused on dividends and overall returns. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. Suncor stock, Suncor is trading around $53.50 at the moment. The stock has jumped 8% in recent days as oil prices surged due to geopolitical concerns, reversing a decline in oil prices that has lasted over the past six months. Volatility is common in the oil market. In recent months, oil bears took control as rising global supply from both OPEC and non-OPEC producers, combined with a weakening demand outlook, especially in China, caused the price of West Texas Intermediate Oil to drop. It fell from $86 per barrel in April to as low as $66 earlier this week. The recent spike in oil prices is linked to growing tensions between Israel and Iran. Oil traders are concerned that Israel may target Iran's oil infrastructure. There are also worries that Iran might block oil tankers from passing through the Strait of Hormuz. This narrow waterway, located between Iran and Oman, is where 20 to 30 percent of the world's oil shipments pass, accounting for roughly 90 percent of Persian Gulf production. If tensions escalate further, analysts predict oil could potentially reach $200 per barrel in a worst-case scenario. Operational results. In 2023, Suncor appointed a new chief executive officer. Since then, the company has implemented cost-cutting measures, divested its wind farms, and increased production to a record high of 803,000 barrels per day during the first six months of the year. Management aims to boost production by an additional 100,000 barrels per day by 2026. Excess cash is being utilized to lower net debt and to repurchase shares. In the second quarter, Suncor invested $825 million in share buybacks. The company has raised the allocation of excess funds for share repurchases to 75% and plans to increase it to 100% when net debt reaches $8 billion. As of June 30th, net debt was reported at $9.05 billion, a reduction of approximately $500 million from the previous quarter. The decline in oil prices throughout the summer is expected to result in weaker financial results for the third quarter of 2024 compared to the first half of the year. Outlook. The opening of the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion earlier this year is good news for Suncor. The new access the pipeline provides to global markets has already led to an improvement in Western Canadian select oil prices. In addition, previous problems with pipeline bottlenecks are no longer an issue. Suncor continues to make progress on its turnaround efforts. This, along with rising output, should help drive better profitability in the coming years. Dividend. Suncor has increased by more than 20% over the past year. Could there be more gains ahead? Suncor, listed on the TSX under the ticker symbol SU, has seen a 22% increase over the last year. Investors who may have missed this rally are now asking if Suncor's stock is still undervalued and whether it's a good buy for a self-directed tax-free savings account, TFSA, or a registered retirement savings plan, RRSP, particularly for those focused on dividends and overall returns. Time to buy? To invest in Canadian oil stocks, you need to have a positive outlook on oil prices. If you belong to that group, Suncor is a strong choice at this point, and you'll receive a good dividend while navigating any market fluctuations. If geopolitical tensions escalate in the Middle East and oil prices rise sharply, Suncor's stock is likely to increase significantly. On the other hand, if you are skeptical about oil prices and believe that the risks in the oil market are exaggerated, you may want to explore other investment options. A potential global recession combined with sufficient oil supplies could keep oil prices low throughout next year. 
If this scenario occurs, Suncor's stock price may decrease. Give us a like if you like our video. Subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.